Okay, hi guys, it's Joe again. A um, couple things going to go over today. I'm installing a uh, bikini fairing on the breakout. I have it right up here. As you can see, it's here drying. I've given it several coats of paint. Now, uh, I ordered this from eBay. It was 30 bucks. There's like uh, a million people selling them. Uh, wasn't sure it was going to fit the breakout. Of course, there was no one to let me know whether it would or not, but I found that it does. I had to make this template. I just bought a little bit of steel at uh, Home Depot, cut it out, drilled the holes, and it fits in perfectly. These go, these attach to the, um, to the bikini fairing, and these here go right where the handlebar screws go in. Uh, it's got plenty of clearance. It centers. As a matter of fact, let me show you the bracket. Bracket's right here. I'm just painting that as well, as you can see. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this because this is a true fit. I've already fitted it on the breakout, and it fits perfectly. Uh, so, um, actually, if any of you guys are interested, uh, let me know, and I will send you a copy of that template. If you're interested in putting that fairing on the new breakouts come with the fairing and um, the CVO is really nice so I just decided um, to go ahead and do that $30 a little bit of paint uh, I enjoy working on my bike so that's not a big deal the other thing I'm going to touch on today is if you watch the video about my license plate relocation Let's pull this out when I removed sorry about the sporadic video when I removed the license plate bracket from the left side there okay it left this piece right there okay the bracket part of the bracket shorter than that one and I told you I was gonna order a piece and I did uh, 17 bucks from Harley and that as you can see is larger than that and it'll be equal to this one over here so what I'll do is I'll just put this on over the weekend but it was 17 bucks uh, you know it's not a big deal if you left it like this, uh, but it is a little bit shorter, and for $17, I uh, just wanted to make it even. So, uh, I am going to let this, I got two more coats of paint on that to go, uh, two more clear coats, and I'm going to let that dry for about 48 hours, maybe two or three days, let it dry nice and hard, and I'm going to install it over the weekend, possibly Sunday. That'll be my Sunday project. I'll do both. Uh, because I have to remove the fender to put this on. Uh, I'll do both of those things. I'll follow up with a video showing you the finished product and a little closer as to where everything is mounted, uh, but it's not impossible to do. Like I said, it was $30 for the fairing, and I put it on, and it looked pretty cool. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching, uh, and if you need some help with this, you're interested in doing that, a little bit of money, uh, I'll be happy to uh, send you a copy of this bracket so all you have to do is trace it out uh on a piece of steel you go to like i said home depot and get a piece of steel cut it out and you'll be all set to go it's not that hard to do um a little ingenuity and you have a little fairing and i think it looks nice on that so uh, until later guys ride safe weather's turning beautiful so it's that time of the year for everybody to get out and do something and uh, i'll follow up uh, probably in about three or four days with the video uh, the installed product Thanks so much, guys. Take care.